Okay guys, today we're doing a hotel recommendation video for the city of Sorin. It is where I would stay the next time I return to Sorin. I did two hotel review videos in the city and we're going to break each one of those down and uh, decide where I would stay and where I think you should stay on your first visit to the city. I do have full review on both of these hotels. Link in the video description. It's on northeastthailand.com. The first hotel we stayed at is called Martina Hotel. It is located right on the edge of the city. It is a three star hotel. It's more like a bungalow, more than a hotel that you would normally think of, you know, with going up. These are all one level, like little bungalows. Quite nice, especially if you're going to stay for an extended period of time. You have your own place, your own parking spot. It's almost like having a little house. Nice place, customer service really good. Price really good. I paid 575 baht a night, which is really cheap. Uh, the, the downside, there's no swimming pool. It's on the edge of the city, nowhere walking distance to go. You do need wheels. You have to have something to get around. There's no taxi sitting outside or anything like that. That would be the downside, but if you're driving, and you're especially if you're staying for an extended amount of time, you know, one night's fine, but if you're staying for a month, this would be a great place to stay. The second hotel is called Sleeve. Sleeve, that's how you pronounce it. S-L-I-V-E. Sleeve Hotel, located right in the middle of the city, right opposite the government hospital. It's a three-star hotel. It cost me 1158 baht for the night. That included breakfast. And it's got a customer, or an Agoda rating of 9.7 out of 10. Almost perfect score. That is uh, unbelievable. And it's deserved. It's a really nice hotel, really good customer service. There are some down points. Uh, very little parking is underground parking under the hotel. It's a small hotel, so not a lot of parking. You could park on the road out front, I assume. I did find a parking spot every time I went in, but it was pretty tight with my truck, that's for sure. And there's no swimming pool. Make you wonder how they got the 9.7. <laughs> Breakfast for me, lots of food there, but it was cold, it wasn't hot. But overall experience, a nice hotel, good location, customer service was uh, was five star for sure. It was it was good. Price is okay, and uh, I'd recommend this hotel. Now, if I was to go back, this is the hotel I was would stay in. Sleeve. It's just the location is is what does it for me. It's right in the city. Uh, food right across the road. Uh, if you're there because someone's in the hospital, the hospital is right across the road. Uh, it's on the main road, it's a busy road, but we didn't have any noise issues at all. I don't know if that would be a problem if there was some kind of event going on. It would be loud for sure. The only issue we had was construction beside us. During the day it was a little bit loud, but at night those guys go home and that should be done now. But for me, this is the hotel that I would pick. And nothing wrong with, with the other hotel. It's half the price. It's quiet. It's actually, the grounds around there is really, really nice. You get more of a country feel out, uh, out beside the farmers, you know what I mean? And uh, Versus the other one in the city. Both good choices. I'd pick either one. Neither one has a swimming pool. I don't know of a hotel in in with the swimming pool so if you do put it in the comments if you have a hotel recommendation for Surin, put it in the comments if you found a hotel that was really really bad even more important let everybody know we're doing this so people have a good experience in Surin and not get stuck in the bad hotels 
All right, guys, that is it. That is my recommendation based on the hotels I've stayed at previously. There is a blog post on this link in the video description. It'll have both hotel reviews in that blog post. And if you're planning on booking a hotel in Surin or anywhere else in the world, please consider using my uh, Agoda affiliate link. A little kickback will come and it'll help keep these websites alive. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I will say, if you are booking a hotel for the Elephant Roundup, which is one of the main tourist attractions in Surin, book early. I've heard of people booking a hotel a year in advance. These hotels fill up fast for, for that very short period of time. Do not wait till the last minute. You will be sleeping in your car. <laughs> book early if it's for the hotel or for the uh, Elephant Roundup.